Welcome to the Stonebridge video series. This video is in the Efficiency Driver series and is on controlling the operating expenses. Hi, my name is Dan O'Connell and I'm with Stonebridge. To find out more about Stonebridge, you can visit us at stonebridgema.com. We continue reviewing the seven cash drivers of a business to optimize profits and cash flow. You will see that the theory is the same for all the drivers. Look at the performance history to determine the optimal percentage, ratio, or days for each cash driver and take action to get back to that level of, of performance and then maybe surpass it. You recall on the income statement that we have the three primary cash drivers, which are sales, cost of goods sold, and operating expenses. And on the balance sheet, we have receivables, inventory, capital expenditures, and payables. We refer to these as the efficiency drivers. Operating expenses are mostly fixed. Fixed expenses are not impacted by sales growth. However, companies tend to have between 7 and 10% generally of operating expenses that are variable expenses, which are impacted by sales growth. Ideally, companies want to see the operating expenses as a percentage of sales to lag behind the sales growth rate. From time to time, we see companies that allocate certain expenses under the operating expenses, while other companies allocate the same expenses to cost of goods sold. I always recommend recording expenses so it makes sense for your business, but be consistent in doing the same reporting every year so the data can be reviewed to see where opportunities might be to increase the cash flow. We all heard the line, that which gets measured gets better. We recommend a formal benchmarking program to analyze numbers at least every month. Where the numbers are trending the wrong way, take action immediately to correct it. Watch for expense creep. Expense creep is when a company spends money on capital improvements and then it's impacting the operating expenses to maintain the specific assets that were just purchased. Outsourcing functions, when prudent, makes sense to lower operating expenses. In our company sales, we have the sales, cost of goods sold, and the gross profit. This is the gross profit contribution that we'll be using. On the last line, we have the operating expenses that have incurred over the past years with the operating expenses as a percentage of sales. And then we have the gross profit less operating expenses, which leaves us with the operating income and its percentage of sales. Let's take the operating expense numbers and move it to the top. The lowest operating expenses as a percentage of sales was 57% in 2015. Let's apply the 57% goal across the past years to see what the extra cost was. We now apply the optimal numbers and see what the operating expenses would have been under this assumption. The difference between the optimal and actual expenses is the extra cost. In 2018, the extra operating cost amounted to $270,000. Let's now apply the capitalization rate of 14% to the excess operating cost to see how this impacts a company's value. In 2016, the company value was reduced by 928,000, 570 in 2017, and almost $2 million in 2018. The company incurred a total of $480,000 of added cost in the past three years, which reduced profit by the same amount. On a multiple basis, the company is worth 7.14 times each dollar of profit. In case some are wondering how we arrived at this multiple, we divide one into the 14% cap rate, that is the price earnings multiple. We will review the balance sheet drivers in the next video and then total all seven cash drivers to see how they impact cash flow and enterprise value. Thanks for watching.